Welcome everyone to this uh, tutorial or live stream. Uh, I'm planning to do a um, short, uh, short tutorial on text effects and this is one of them. So it's going to be under 10 minutes uh, to keep it short and then the next day I'm going to create a longer. So it's going to alternate long tutorial and then short tutorial and then long tutorial. So anyway, so our our text effect right now is we're going to create uh, this kind of style. So I, I'm, I'm just going to call it the shadow text effect. So this is really easy to do in Corel Draw. You just have to use the, the transparency tool. So first of all, you're going to type in create and then we are going to make that bigger. I'm just going to make that white and then we are going to put it here in the center okay and then we are going to choose a thicker font I think Futura is the one that I use so we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're going to decrease the spacing in between the letters so you go to your shape tool and then you move this over to the left side and then make it overlap okay so I so I think this is good and then what you're gonna do is you are going to break this apart so you go to objects and then break artistic text apart okay so basically this are breaked it's 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 individual letters now so now we're going to add transparency on the individual letters so you click on your transparency tool and click and drag and there you go choose letter R click and drag choose letter R letter E A T and letter E and that's it and then of course you can adjust the transparency if you want you go to your uh, transparency settings and you can just like do it this way okay so maybe this we'll just drag it to the right okay and uh, now if you want to adjust for example this one because T is a bit close to the letter E just move it over to the right side and the good thing here is if you change the color to black since it's transparency it would I mean if you change the color to a different color say for example you're going to use a uh, dark blue here it would the transparency would be bluish too so just, uh, let's check this out making darker blue this one let's go to black and that's it I hope you like it I know it's a short tutorial, but tomorrow I'm going to do a longer tutorial, more about, um, about the tools in CorelDRAW. So thanks for, for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.